All right, we're out here at Double Sammy. Uh, we decided to do a trail. Or, shit, it's <laughs> Out here, double Sammy. So, for you guys that don't know how to get here, look that way. So, the parking lot is straight down by the lake. You drive straight up the sand hill, and basically, when you get to the cluster of rocks, start looking for a left hand turn. So, as you can see, it's rated a seven, which is very difficult, quote unquote. Um, you can get through in just about any side by side if you know what you're doing. You're absolutely going to want a skid plate, though. The bigger and the stickier the tire the better. Um, there's a lot of off-camber stuff. It's a lot of tight movements. There aren't many bypasses on this trail. Like if you go do Melt Smile or the Maze or whatever, there's a lot of bypasses where you don't have to hit the iffy stuff. On this one, you do. So go in there knowing what you're doing, experience drivers only, or follow someone that knows what they're doing. Right, guys so here's your first option on double sammy so Royce is gonna go up right easier line is left that that's how it's done so that's the harder line I will show the easier line for you guys here's option two that same spot on double whammy Sammy
Alright guys, so this obstacle is just a little tough, or it can be. I end up getting a little bit tipsy sometimes. So we're gonna watch Royce do this one. So if you see, he's going straight up towards the rocks, and then he's just gonna make a hard driver turn down there. And that hard driver turn is what can get you a little little on edge, a little off camber on two wheels. He did that really well. Alright, let's see if uh, let's see if I can do it as good as him. But there looks like there can be a couple different op options I'll show you here real quick. So he went right up here, right up that, and then made that hard driver turn. But one way that I've never tried, but it looks like a lot of people have, is you can go on this left side, right? So he was up here. You can go on this left side, and I think it would get rid of any of that off-camber stuff where you could just drive right over the top of it. You're going to have a little downhill there, but you really wouldn't end up getting off-camber at all. So Eric's taking an alternate route here. He's going, I went right here and then went down. He's going straight over it. <laughs> Bumper. <laughs> Yeah, get up there and turn a tire. There it is. Nice. So this way is probably just as tough. But you don't have that weird, uh, I went up here and I had to turn down hard to get down there. We've seen a lot of people tip over right here, just into that ditch. All right, so when you come around this wall, you're gonna, it's gonna push you down the hill. When you get to this hole, I see a lot of people tip over right here. It looks easy, but when you get to this hole, you drop your tires in, you go straight, and you almost turn a little bit driver and wait until your back end is on the ground here before you turn passenger. I see a lot of people come down here, they'll drop off of this and then start to turn passenger, just flop right there. And so it feels counterproductive, but you want to turn driver here until you're up there and then you can turn down and follow the trail. So here I go. same spot I just did I wanted a little bit different angle so you guys can see it so again he's gonna come straight down in he's gonna have to keep going straight he's not turning hard left this part gets a little off camber here it's got a bunch of different rocks that kick you different ways Going a little right of where I went. Woo! Give it a little air 
time. This one, I went straight up this hill, up this climb. He took it far left. He took it far left, and he's going to have to swing over here, and he's going to go up right here. So he's going to do a little backing up. So Royce is going to show you an option that he likes to do in his four seater. It's maybe a little bit much for me. Um, it's a fun one for sure. So we'll show you how he does it. how he does it that climb at the end is the biggest thing I think that uh, deters me and maybe a lot of other two-seaters from doing that that's a pretty steep nasty little climb but it's sure a lot of fun and makes it look easy all right we're gonna go the other way with me okay so here we are at same obstacle so that optional way is this way up here that's the way Royce just went the the normal way is over here so there's a few little climbs. So this one right here, what you want to do is you can kind of do it two different ways. Basically, you either want to stay left and stay out of this little hole right here. Or if you go that way, what you need to do is just kind of straddle that. So I went that way, made a sharp left up and out. Let's see my razor up there. Eric is going to come straight this way go up this nasty so yeah he just needs to miss that hole if your back tire gets in that hole it's gonna get a little bit nasty
gotta take it wide because your back tire will get caught right there. You have to be perfect on your straddle with this. This is a big hole. We've seen a lot of people flip sideways here. There is an option to come through here and this one's pretty fun you can just drive straight through or the more challenging way is to make a left right here you'll be hang timing your passenger front there as you come around but it's got like a three and a half foot ledge you got to climb up with your passenger side but that's the end of the trail this is where you park to uh, take your victory pictures so once you're at the top, you're on this ledge here, you have a view of the whole lake. Got some Jeeps down there coming up the trail. Let's get you in the liquors. All right, man. Eric the Twizzler. That was lame. What, what do you want to call yourself? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The guy that gives out the Twizzler. Something about it. This is this is the only time I ever eat Twizzlers. I don't eat them in If you ever come riding with Eric, he's got a bag of Twizzlers. There you go, man. Thank you, sir. That's what it is. I don't know why, but they're better on the trail. Yep. So. There we go. All right. Here we are. Final obstacle to shoot. So Royce is going to go first, he'll kind of show you what he likes to do, which is a little different than me. So. Alright, so if you're in a long travel, if you're in a long travel car, the lines are basically on the rocks for you. There's a dark black line right here. That's where your driver tire needs to line up. Over here, feels really weird, but you need to be up here and you're gonna go over this bump. Well, a lot of people will start to go up and they'll slide in because they give it too much gas. They just lose traction right here or right there. Slide in, bash their doors, it's a mess. So when you're going right here, you need to stay up high. You're gonna go over these bumps and it's gonna feel weird when you first come over because you're gonna drop into a hole. You need to stay with your side wall on the wall right there and go absolutely straight. So on this one, you don't wanna turn at all. It feels like you're going to want to turn one way or the other. Once you get over, as long as you go over straight, you shoot straight up. So I'm going to do my best to show you.
how you do it downhill. Man, he made that look easy. <laughs> I'm not doing that. All right, so I'm up here. Honestly, I've gone up this a number of times. I've never done it smooth. So we'll see if we can't uh, if we can't do this one a little smoother. Any last words? <laughs> do it. Are you gonna come back down? No, <laughs> not coming back down. guys so as I told you I've never really done this this uh, the shoot really smooth um, today was the smoothest that I've done it when you say Royce yeah I'd say so what I found is Royce is a little wider than mine so what he does is he's looking here for his machine and what I've realized is I need to be about two inches or so passenger different than what he is and what that did is it allowed me to hit this little hole a little bit better and a lot smoother. And then I actually have to turn as I'm probably three quarters of the way, uh, three quarters of the way up, turn just a smidgen driver to miss a hole that's up at the top. And it was the smoothest that I've ever done. So pretty stoked about that. How wide are you? So I'm 72 outside to outside. Okay, I'm about 76 yeah. if you actually measure it. So, so that's, that's why. So that's the difference. About you know, two inches. About two inches on this side. This side, yeah. You know, two inches on that side. So that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Cool. Do that. Lost me smoother. Good. 